there still seems to be a lot of confusion surrounding selling brand name products on Amazon. There's not nearly as much information regarding wholesale as there is arbitrage or private label. So in this video, I will tell you everything that you need to know about selling brand name products on Amazon, as well as what you do not need to do. What's going on guys, Marvin here. Welcome back to another video. So before we get into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also turn on the post notifications because I have been posting a little chaotically lately. And if you don't wanna miss any of the videos that I post, then make sure to hit that bell. All right, so like I said in the intro, let's clear up any confusion that you may have surrounding selling brand name products on Amazon. And you are gonna to wanna to stay until the end because I'm gonna go over what you do not need to do, which is also gonna help you understand this concept. Now, I think the majority of the confusion stems from lack of information. You can find hundreds and hundreds of videos from a hundred different people surrounding arbitrage and surrounding private label. But when it comes to wholesale on YouTube, there's very, very limited information. So when it comes to selling these branded products, you first need to understand how a product gets from a manufacturer to a retailer. If you don't know what a retailer is, it is just any sort of store that you may go to that sells products to the end consumer and gets those products at a wholesale price. Stores like Walmart, Target, Home Depot, any store that is getting the products and then selling them to the end consumer. But you now with your Amazon business are also a retailer. You are buying products at a wholesale price, not paying sales tax, and then selling them to the customers. The products usually start overseas, but regardless of where they're manufactured, that manufacturer will get the products and distribute it amongst its distributors here in the US. We only buy from US distributors if you're selling in the US marketplace. So from here, the distributor then sells it to the retailers. Now there's a few more steps that you can throw in here, but you guys know that I like to keep everything as simple as possible, so this is the basic chain of events. Manufacturer, distributor, retailer. Now, in order for these retailers to go and resell these products, they have to buy the products from an authorized distributor. The simplest way to understand what an authorized distributor is, is a distributor that has the full rights to sell that product to you and for you to go and resell that product to the end consumer. Also, it's important to know that this distributor is recognized by Amazon as being authorized. Now you can purchase products from distributors that are not authorized, but that's when you start running into problems with brands coming after you. And you may also start running into problems with Amazon. So always do your best to buy from authorized distributors. And if you don't know how to find an authorized distributor, or you don't know how to vet out an authorized distributor, don't worry, I already have that video scheduled, so it's gonna be coming out soon. Okay, so now that you understand that portion of the business, let's go over what you will not have to do so that you understand how things are gonna work on the Amazon side of things. So the first thing that you do not have to do is create a listing. Contrary to private label, where you have to go and create a listing from scratch, take photos, do keyword research, optimize your description, optimize your titles, optimize your photos and get reviews. You don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is go and jump on to the already existing listing that was created and sell from there. Think of wholesale as arbitrage on a much larger scale. Now, the second thing you don't have to do is pay-per-click or PPC. Just in case you're unfamiliar with this, this is Amazon's way of advertising on the platform. So if you ever type in something that you're searching for on Amazon and the first listing says sponsored, that is somebody running a PPC campaign. So PPC is primarily used to get more sales on a product and it is heavily used in the private label community to not only rank the product, but also get more sales to then later on get some organic sales. The reason you do not have to do this is because you're selling branded products, brand name products that people already know. These companies have spent millions and millions of dollars so that everybody and their mother knows exactly what product it is right when they see it. So the use of PPC is unnecessary. With that being said, if we are talking about doing a little more advanced way of wholesale and working with these brands directly, then this is a good tool to use to increase overall sales, but it is absolutely not necessary. And that's it. Selling brand name products on Amazon is incredibly simple to do. And hopefully I made it even simpler through this video. If you found this video helpful, then let me know you did by hitting the like button and commenting down below. Also, leave me any questions that you want me to answer in our next Q&A video. A lot of you guys really like the structure of that video, so ask me the questions and I will do the videos. If I don't have enough questions, then I'm not gonna do another one. And if you're interested in hitting your first 10K in sales on Amazon, then you're gonna wanna watch the video on the screen where I show you exactly how to do that. I'll see you guys in the next video.